on LinkedIn, do not comment. This is a really important topic. A lot of people don't realize the importance of using LinkedIn. Especially in a business context. I want you to think about this. What is LinkedIn? LinkedIn is a place where people come together in a professional setting to connect, to build relationships, professional relationships. But often you post something on LinkedIn and that you don't get any comments. I'm going to show you some strategies today to help you be able to get more comments and really understand the platform so that you're not worried about posting and then not getting comments because it feels really demoralizing to post something in crickets. Imagine getting up on stage and saying something in front of a hundred people and nobody looking at you, nobody engaging with you, nobody noticing you and you feel like a total fraud. So if you don't want that to happen to you, and I'm talking about the feeling then you need to understand the context and why it's important to leverage AI to help you be able to accomplish what you want to, want to accomplish. First of all, hello, everyone. My name is Joe Applebaum. I'm the CEO of Ajax Union, a business-to-business -business digital marketing agency. I'm also the founder of Evi AI, a LinkedIn tool that helps you be able to leave comments with AI, write posts, recommendations, and so many more things. So let me share my screen and show you LinkedIn and give you an idea of what the landscape looks like so that you could understand exactly what you need to be doing in order to get results from this platform. All right, so this is my LinkedIn when I log in. Can you guys see this? If you can see it, say I see it in the chat. If you click on your own profile, it loads up. If you're on LinkedIn right now, you can actually go to my profile and you can see that my background banner became a video because when I go on LinkedIn Live, that's essentially what happens. Now, as we're kind of warming ourselves up into this LinkedIn Live, I always say the first couple of minutes, you got to give a chance for people to warm up, to get in. In the comments below, let me know what city you're dialing in from and what is your industry. And also give this a heart. If you're logging in live, I want to feel your heart. Give this a little heart. Click on the heart button. Give it a little heart. Now, if you click on see all posts, you can actually see somebody's entire activity. And you can see if they're getting comments on their posts. I always love doing this. I always love going back and looking. I'm going to give myself a little heart on this post. Okay. Now, if you've posted before on LinkedIn, you know the feeling of posting on LinkedIn and getting no comments. Okay. So I posted here on LinkedIn. This post right here, 30 minutes ago, I got no comments. So I might feel like, oh, 44 people saw it. I got no comments. Oh, my God. I'm going to give myself a heart. And I'm going to leave myself a comment. I'm going to leave myself a comment about work-life balance. Actually, I'm going to leave myself a comment with my own AI tool. Okay, let's just see what happens if I take my own AI tool. Great post, Joe. Finding the right balance. I'm going to take out great post, Joe, because this is for myself. Finding the right balance with working family is critical to inspiring and prioritizing quality time with your kids. As your trip to Phoenix and Scottsdale, don't miss out on the beautiful desert. I'm going to do this. What is your balance? Okay, I'm going to press post. And now I left a comment on my own post. So if you're ever worried about not having a comment on your post, leave yourself a comment. Now here's something very, very interesting. You guys ready for this one? You guys ready for this one? Yes? Give me a yes in the comments. Let me know that you're ready for this. I'm just going to refresh this page right over here just to kind of see if anybody actually left a comment. This is one of the places where you can see in real time the comments that people leave. So I'm going to see if anybody left a comment. It looks like Cindy gave me a heart. Thank you, Cindy. Looks like, uh, guys, put in your industry. What industry are you in? In the chat, go ahead, put in your industry. The more we chat up in the chat, the more this number goes up, and ultimately the more this number goes up as well. So I've seen the more you give it a heart, the more you give it a comment, the more involved you are in the conversation, the more people we can join into the conversation. So go ahead, tell us what you do for a living. Tell us where you're dialing in from. Tell us if you've seen uh, posts without comments and how do you feel when you leave a post and you don't have any comments and why do you think that happens on LinkedIn? Go ahead, let me know. Let's have a conversation about that. Now check this out. If I want another entity to leave a comment on this post, I 
you can make it really easy. I can go into this post right over here. I'm going to copy the three buttons. I'm going to click on the three buttons. You guys see that? And I'm going to click on copy link to post. And I'm going to paste that link into the browser. Now that I have this post right over here, I can send this post around to people. But what I could also do is I can leave a comment on this post from a company page. So check this out. I'm going to click on the little drop down here. I'm going to select Evy AI as the company page. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a comment as Evy AI. This is a really fantastic way for you to be able to promote your own company page. Thank you for creating EvyAI.com. People love using this tool to leave comments on posts like this, okay? Like this. All right, I'm gonna press post. Now, Evy AI, the company page, left a comment on my post. Now, Evy AI can also like it. So if I wanna have three separate colors here, do you see that three separate colors? I wanna have the heart, I wanna have the light bulb, and I wanna have the thumbs up. I can do that even just with myself because I, have, I manage multiple company pages. But even if you only manage one, you can get yourself two, especially if somebody else gave you a default like, you can give yourself a heart and then give yourself a light bulb and then you get all three, which makes the post look more popular. When a post looks more popular, people want to leave comments. When they see other comments, they don't wanna be the only one commenting. That's really what it is. So why don't people comment on LinkedIn? Because they don't wanna be the only one commenting. When they see other people commenting, they also want to get involved. By the way, if this makes sense, write it makes sense in the comments. I'm curious to know if this makes sense to you. I'm going to go in here and see, okay, Catherine's here, financial services. John said, thank you, financial services from West Palm Beach. Guys, put in <clears throat> your, um, your information in the chat. Let us know what industry you're in. Let us know where you're dialing in from. I'd love to see you guys. I'd love to see your names here. Leaving a comment on LinkedIn is very, very valuable. Also, let me know, what is your horoscope sign? I'm a Scorpio. I'm curious to know your horoscope sign. Go ahead in the comments. Let me know what your horoscope sign is. I'm going to go in there myself and write, I'm a Scorpio. You see, I'm going to go in here, click on comment. I'm going to write, I am a Scorpio. Okay, so I did that. Now, if other people comment, and if you comment yourself, you're going to get more people to comment as well. That's just basically what's going to happen. But one of the reasons people don't comment is because you can actually see all the comments that people leave. And if you see all the comments that people leave, then people start feeling self-conscious about whether or not they want to comment or not. Okay. Thank you for sharing. You also want to make sure that you reply to every comment that you get. If you reply to a comment, then your comment rate goes up as well. And people see, oh, there were 10 comments here. Let me leave a comment as well. I want to do what other people do. I forgot what that's called. Does anyone know what it's called? It's, I think it's called herd mentality. Is it herd mentality? Let's ask ChatGPT. Let's go into chat. This is one of the things I love about ChatGPT. You can ask a question. What do you call it when people do things like leave comments? because other people do things. Is it called herd mentality or something else? See what it says, yes, the term you're looking for could be herd mentality, which describes how individuals are influenced by their peers to adopt certain behaviors, follow trends, or purchase certain items. It's a herd mentality. People tend to conform to what perceives as a dominant way of thinking or acting in a group, often without critical critically evaluating the situation. Another term is social proof. Oh, I like that one better. Which refers to the phenomenon where people assume that the actions of others reflect the correct baby or given a certain situation. For example, if a person sees a blog post with a lot of comments, they might be more likely to leave a positive comment or perceive the post as a favorable like. The bandwagon effect. Oh my God, guys, check this out. The bandwagon effect is a related concept where the rate of uptake of beliefs, images, and fads, okay. So check this out. Now this is what I'm going to say. Create a LinkedIn post about these three topics and why it's important to get people to comment on your posts for these three reasons. 
let's just see what it what it does. Certainly, here's a LinkedIn post. Today, I want to dive into the fascinating concept that play a crucial role into an online interactions, herd mentality, social proof, and the bandwagon effect. Oh my God, amazing. Look at that. I just created an amazing post. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into Evy AI. So I'm going to go to app.evyai.com because I don't really like that post that ChatGPT wrote. It doesn't have everything that I need in it. I'm going to give it my persona, who I am. I'm going to tell it to give it a professional tone and provide value. Create a post about the importance of leaving meaningful comments and posts and getting comments because of these three reasons. Okay, right, and I'm going to press generate. I'm going to use GPT-4. I'm going to press generate. And I'm using this tool called EVY AI, E-V-Y-I, because it creates a hook, it creates main points, it creates a call to action, and it includes really solid hashtags. The reason I created this application, this tool, is for people to be able to leave comments, write posts, write recommendations, send connection notes, all with artificial intelligence. So I told it to start generating it. It's going to generate. It's going to take like a minute or so. In the meantime, I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to linkedin.com. I'm going to click on share this tab instead. And I'm going to drop some comments. I'm going to show you how quickly it takes for me to drop comments. So Rachel posted this. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select my own persona. And I'm going to drop a comment. Okay. Now, while it's creating a post in the background, <clears throat> by the way, it already created the post. So let me share this tab just to kind of show you the post. The post is already created for me. While it created the post in the background, which is a much better post than the one that ChatGPT created, we're still using ChatGPT, but we're using a software that gives it a better prompt. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, I have the ability to use GPT-4, very powerful, much, much smarter. But do you see the way I just created this amazing post that I'm going to be posting on LinkedIn? If you think this is cool in the chat, write cool. Okay, so I just left a comment for Rachel. I'm going to leave a comment for Kat as well. Same thing. I'm going to select my persona. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to select Joe Applebaum. I'm going to select GPT-4, which takes a little bit longer, but it does give the comment a little bit of a better quality comment than a GPT-3.5 comment. And the reason the quality is better is because GPT-4 is just technically smarter. Okay, this is a really nice comment. It's expressing to your dedication, Cat. I'm going to tag Cat as well so she notices me. I'm going to press post. And I just left two solid comments in literally a minute. Wow. Really powerful. Okay, so as you can see over here, I just left this comment for Rachel. And I left this comment for Cat, And I tagged Cat right over here. I'm also going to leave a comment for Richard. LinkedIn's changing. Okay, so I'm going to put here. I'm going to drop a little comment here. I'm going to select this persona. I'm going to press generate. It's going to read this post. <clears throat> and it's going to drop a beautiful comment for him. I want to support other LinkedIn trainers. I want to support people in my industry. I want people to know that I exist. And one of the ways that I do that is by dropping solid comments. Your insights and links is evolving. They're spot on. I've noticed a shift in innovation, increased lifespan of posts. As someone who leverages AI and digital marketing, I find the emphasis really well and approach every AI. Humanizing, and I'm going to say Richard. Richard, thanks for all the value you add to this platform. Love getting your newsletter by the way. All right, I press post. <clears throat> and I want to like. Now I'm going to look like this. Great newsletter. Lots of insights. Okay? So now I'm going to give him an extra comment on his comment. Do you see that? Now, I'm, I'm helping the herd mentality. There are 200 comments over there, but I'm helping him. He sees this, and I'm helping him, and I'm creating a little more visibility. That's really, really powerful when you do things like that. Okay, now let me go back to my thing just to kind of see who's been leaving comments over here Again, extremely powerful to do this correctly it's really really game changing all right okay john said cool catherine said yes i'm gonna go back 
to my recent posts just to show you guys where you can see all the comments that people have been leaving. You click on show all posts. So instead of clicking on the actual post, you click on comment over here. You see that? And then you click on instead of most relevant, you do most recent. And you can see the most recent comments that people are leaving over here. That is awesome. Now, what do you guys post about? I'm curious to know. What are the topics that you post about? In the chat, go ahead. Tell me the comments that you post about the most. For example, I post about marketing. Marketing. LinkedIn. I post about AI. I post about family. Business. Those are the things that I post about. Those are the topics that I really talk a lot about. What are the topics that you talk about? I'm curious to know. And also, if you're watching this live right now, give this a heart so other people can see you, that you gave it a heart. I see so far two of you gave it a heart, which is me and John. But if you see this right now, just give it a heart and then leave a comment letting me know what topics you're actually involved in. And I'll tell you why. Because I, wanted, I want you to search those topics. So I'm going to go into the search. I'm going to type in LinkedIn. This is a topic that I talk about a lot. I'm going to click on posts. You see it says posts here. Now I can actually search posts that have the word LinkedIn in it. And right now, my own LinkedIn Live is live for that. You see that? So Josh, one week ago, posted the marketing minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on all filters. And I'm just going to do the past 24 hours. I want fresh posts. Okay, I'm going to press show results. And it's going to show me all the posts that were posted in the past 24 hours with the word LinkedIn in the post. You see that? Now I'm going to go to Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm going to give it a like. I love Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is awesome. I don't know if you guys like him. Are you following him or not? I'm going <clears> to <throat> leave a comment on Gary Vaynerchuk's post. Great post. I completely agree. The Super Bowl, fantastic. A marketing opportunity. Boom, boom, boom. Insert. And then post. Okay, so now... Do you see what he said over here? However, it's surprising how many companies miss the mark to fail and capitalize on this platform. Your insights are valuable. I look forward to reading more about the LinkedIn 360 newsletter. Okay, so <clears throat> let's read the post. <clears throat> let's read the post. If you're a big brand CMO, check out my LinkedIn 360 newsletter. Okay, so I'm going to click on it just to kind of see his LinkedIn newsletter. He has a million subscribers on his newsletter. You see that? Now, how many people actually commented? 59 people commented on this. I know these, some of these people. Some of these people are clients of mine. You see that? Really powerful. So if I want to be able to stand out to these people, I can give them a like, a different type of like, and I can actually comment. You see, I can use AI to comment, or I can say, thanks for sharing. Abigail. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. Now, she's a marketing director, marketing and sales at Clear Channel Outdoor. That is awesome. Now, I can take this to the next level, click on Abigail's profile, and I could actually leave a comment on her recent posts as well. Do you see? She reposted, she reposted, she reposted. She hasn't really been posting very much. You see, she's been reposting um, stuff. Let me see if she's posted anything recently. So I scroll through her stuff to try to find something that she posted. If she didn't post anything, I think she's just reposting stuff. I'm going to send her a message right now. Click on her profile. I'm going to click on the more button, and then I can just message Abigail right here. There is a tool that I use called Apollo where I can save her contact, and I can actually email her. If her email address was here, it's not. The other thing that I can do is I can copy her name, and I can do a Google search. Okay, so I can copy her name. And I can just do a Google search. I can find her on say, Instagram or so. And then I can give her a follow on Instagram. And I can build a relationship. Say, hey, I saw you commenting on Gary Vaynerchuk stuff. Um, and build a relationship that way. You guys see that? I clicked on Instagram. Now I see this is not her Instagram here. But I do love changing um changing to different platforms and connecting with people in different platforms because that allows me, if I can't message them in one platform, I can message them in another platform. So that's extremely, extremely valuable. Okay, so I searched LinkedIn. Gary Vaynerchuk came up. You saw what I did over there. I absolutely love finding people. Like, for example, Justin Rowey. I'm going to click on his profile. 
I actually control clicked on his profile, put him in another tab. This way I also show up in his recently viewed stuff. You see that? And I also have the opportunity to save his profile into Evy AI. So because I use Evy AI, E-V-Y AI, I'm able to save his profile. And this way I can always leave a comment because if this guy's posting on a regular basis, you see, I'm going to click on posts. If he, he posted an hour ago, he has 10 comments and one repost. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on show all posts. And I'm going to drop a comment right over here. You see that? I'm going to give him a little heart. And you can see he commented on his own post. And then he replied to each comment as well, which adds to the to the uptick of how many comments he has. And because I absolutely know this person and I absolutely adore him and trust him, I want him to know me, adore me, trust me, and remember me as well. So I'm gonna make sure that I leave a comment as well. Now, as you can see, we're about 20 minutes into this live and I've already dropped a number of comments. I've already uh, created content this is really, really fast. Absolutely, the value of LinkedIn ads, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you see the way I wrote a beautiful post just like that for him. I could also drop him a message. I could also send him a message and say, did you check it out yet? Okay. Um, and just keep building a relationship with people. That's really, really powerful to do that. Now I'm going to go back to the results. And I'm going to find more human beings that I could build a relationship with. Richard Bliss, Eric Sue, you see that? Number one growth marketer, Fox Tucker, Angel, Jim. Okay, you see Jim has one of these little icons here. You see this little blue icon? That blue icon means that he's a pretty popular influencer. He has a top voice thing, so let me go in here. So he's a Create Economy Sharpa. You see? He has 32,000 followers in Pacifica, California. I'm not connected to him. I'm a second degree connection. I do 483 mutual connections with this guy. He posted something six minutes ago. He got no action so far, seven minutes ago. So I'm going to give him a little like, and I'm going to stay, stay top of mind with him by dropping a solid comment here. I also am going to show up in his recently viewed, the people that recently viewed because I actually went to his profile. And I might also send him a message. So if you're looking to go deeper in a particular industry, this is a really great way to do it because it just happens so fast. Jim, your insights into changing your model and sustainable approach. I see immense potential. AI can help. This could be the next big thing. I'm going to tag him. Jim, utter back. Say, love seeing. Your top voice badge and icon. Well done. Okay, now I'm going to press post. <clears throat> and you see the way I customized this? And I added a little more context over here. And I tagged him. When you tag somebody inside a comment, they get notified in the notifications. So if I click on mentions, if you ever tag me in a comment, I get notified that you tagged me. You see that? People are tagging me all over the place. Like this person tagged me with the quote that I came up with a couple of years ago. These company pages tagged me. Adam tagged me. Evan tagged me. You see that? Kevin tagged me. So when you tag somebody, that's extremely powerful. Um, if I leave a comment on someone's post, you see that? Great advice. As a, as a marketer in the hospitality industry, I completely agree with your points. And then she replies, thanks. You see that? Now, this person is a person I'm not even connected to. There are millions of active people on LinkedIn that are dying to get comments. But people are stingy when it comes to giving comments. They are. Look at this. A post comes up from Ellie. She's a JV partner of mine, but she got no comments. So what am I going to do? I'm going to leave a comment. You do this and you stand out big time. Even if you're not leaving a very big comment, you could leave a tiny little comment like boom. If you happen to leave a well-written, thoughtful comment and you mention the person's name and you thank them for what they did, which is essentially our strategy, and you mention them like this, that is a next level comment. And that comment is very likely to show up on the feed as well. So 
if I click on the home page of LinkedIn, I see um, I scroll down. As you scroll down, you're going to find that when one of your connections leave a comment on a post, it shows the comment as well. So as you're scrolling down, I want you to start noticing this. Melissa left a comment on Rick's post, and Melissa's comment showed up here. Do you guys see that? Write wow in the chat if you can see what I'm talking about. Melissa left a comment, and then Ray replied to that comment. And not only did Rick's post and her the fact that she commented showed up over here, it also showed up here. And it also showed up the reply to that comment. That is powerful. Now I'm gonna give this a like right over here. I'm gonna give this a like. So you can see that replying to comments and leaving comments actually show up in the feed in many different places and give you massive exposure. So if you're not dropping 10 comments, you're not taking action. And if it's hard for you to drop 10 comments a day, then I highly recommend considering using an AI tool. You can customize it. You can customize it with your persona. You can use GPT-4 to increase the quality of the comment that you're leaving. And you don't need to leave a thousand comments. You can actually go through people's posts, build a relationship with them, leave five, 10, 15 comments. Your post resonates with me, especially as a CEO of a digital marketing industry. The concept in managing versus creating is a crucial one. In my experience, taking a proactive approach, leveraging AI and other resources, I can truly transform the way we navigate both business and life. Thanks for sharing such an insightful perspective. Wow, it's a beautiful response. Write beautiful in the chat if you agree with this. This is not a generic response. This is a beautiful, well-written response. I'm the only one that commented. She was a landmark trainer. She's not some just random person. I know her. I went to Landmark six years ago, and I, or seven years ago, and I sat in her room for an entire weekend, and I built a deep, meaningful relationship with her. I want her to remember me. She already referred me three clients as a result of me staying top of mind with her. This is an extremely powerful method that I want to share with the world. I want you to use a method like this of commenting, and most people are never going to comment because they're afraid. Fear stops everything. Here's another person that I think is extremely valuable, Cody Sanchez. I'm going to save Cody's profile into Evy AI. You see that? I saved her into Evy AI. Now I can see all her recent activity. I just click on recent activity, and it shows me all her recent activity, okay, just with a click of a button. She saved. I can always go back and comment on her stuff, click of a button, leave a comment, and I don't have to think about what to say. The AI is thinking for me. Now, of course, I'm going to read the comment first, but this comment is going to get exposure on the feed. You see that? Indeed, Cody Sanchez. Indeed, Cody Sanchez. The art of communication is something many overlook. And my experience as a CI, I found that asking is the first step. It's also crucial to provide value in every interaction. Boom. I agree with all that. I agree with that. I'm going to give myself a little hard here as well. You see that? This is extremely powerful if you learn how to use this correctly. Back to the, the, back to the search. Okay, so remember I, I showed you Jim. I showed you what I did with Jim. I showed you what I did with some other people over here, like Justin. I saved his profile. Some of these are my connections. Some of these are not. Now, there is a filter here that allows you to be able to switch up and see the people only that you're connected to. So first degree connections only in the past 24 hours. Now, I'm able to see, instead of top match, I can do latest, and I can see posts that are loading right now, within minutes. You see Robert Levin, I'm gonna give him a like, and over here, I could just write boom, and tag him, you see that, boom. I could just write boom, I don't have to use the AI every single time. I don't always use the AI, as a matter of fact. Sometimes I don't. But if I wanna write something that's a little more thoughtful, then I would do that. I say, love the look. All done. I'm going to tag him. Okay? You don't always have to use the AI, but if you want to use the AI, you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck in terms of having the tool show up. Okay, here's what I tell myself ahead of a sales call of what you are doing here. Okay? Richard Moore. I want him to remember me. He came to my influencer conference not too long ago and presented such a good. 
such a good presenter. He gave so much value. So look at what he did was. He posted this one hour ago, and he has 57 comments on this post. A bunch of them are from him. You see that? Comment, comment, comment. You see that? A bunch of them are from him. Let's take a look at what he has going on here. He has 74,000 followers. You see that? I'm going to save his profile. I'm going to also send him a message. Sending you love today. Just a very, like, relationship-building message I'm going to send him. I'm going to click on message. I don't know why it's not loading. Why is this not loading? It's not loading. I'm going to refresh the page. Let's see if I can click on message. He has a di top direct sales voice. Oh, there you go. That's sending you love today. I featured you in my life, by the way, in a minute, in a minute 30. Yeah. Boom, just like that. That says, I'm away for three days. I'll respond when I return. Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. The fact is, I build, I'm building a relationship. I'm going a little bit deeper. You see that? I'm going to go back to my recent activity. There's another way you can get to your recent activity. You can click on posts and activity. It takes you to your posts and activity. I'm going to go back over here just to kind of see what you guys are doing. Are you guys enjoying this? Uh, write enjoying in the chat if you're enjoying it, whether it's the live or the replay. Let me know. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on most recent. Just to kind of see what people are doing over here. Absolutely, Gary V, v is amazing. I'm curious to know who are some people that you admire on this platform. Let me know in the chat who are some people that you admire on this platform. If you're watching this live with me right now, are there specific people that you feel are better than other people that you admire more that you follow? Who are some influencers that you follow? I follow Tony Robbins. I follow Gary V. I follow Alex Hermosi. There's a lot of really cool people that I follow. Curious to know who you follow on LinkedIn. Let me know. I'm going to stop sharing for just a moment because I want to impress upon you the importance of leaving comments. Leaving comments on LinkedIn is extremely important because it gives you exposure. As I showed you on my LinkedIn Live, it gives you exposure on the feed. It gives you exposure in the notifications of the author. It gives you exposure to the other people that are connected to you and the author. It's important to leave a comment because it shows that you're real on the LinkedIn platform. Most people are not leaving comments on LinkedIn and they're missing out on a huge opportunity to get free attention and free exposure. Leaving a comment also will give you ideas for the types of posts that you can then later create. LinkedIn has a feature that allows you to repurpose a comment as a post. So if you use our tool, Evy AI, E V Y A I, to help you leave comments, you can be more consistent and leave better comments. You should always customize the comments that you're leaving by adding a mention, by adding your own two cents to the end of the comment. Don't let AI do all the work, but let AI do most of the work because AI can be really smart if you train it correctly. I'm curious to know what you think about these concepts. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on using EVAI, e -V -Y -A -I com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick tour of the landing page so you can see exactly the features of EVAI right now. Let me go back here. Let me press share and just show you the landing page. So if you go to EVYAI.com, this is what the landing page looks like. It says, improve your credibility and engagement on LinkedIn. Evy AI is a LinkedIn assistant that helps you create personalized comments, write posts, and reply to DMs. It's a Chrome extension designed to help LinkedIn users create more engaging and optimized content. Now, if you want to download the Chrome extension, just click on Add to Google Chrome right over here, and then you can add it. I'm going to click on that now. Share this tab. You can see we have 25 positive reviews, over 1,000 people using it. And if you want to read the reviews, you click on reviews and you can actually read these amazing reviews that people have left. Now, on the landing page over here, you also have the ability to go to the platform where it says go to app on the top here. The platform allows you to do other things. Like, for example, it allows you to see your saved profiles, your recent activity. You see, remember I saved Richard? And now we added functionality to be able to add people to lists. 
Okay, so now we're gonna adding list functionality. So for example, you can add people to clients, to networking, and you can actually sort and filter your connections in a way that you could never do before. So this is extremely powerful. You can also write posts, you can have multiple personas, and you can see all the activity, all the generations, everything you've ever done, you can see right over here. So if you wrote a post in the past and you wanna grab it back, or you wrote a message or something like that, and you wanna create it, turn it into a template, you can actually save it and turn it into a template as well. Really powerful tool. So if you're not using a tool like this, I highly recommend checking it out, trying it out, seeing if it's something that you would use. I'm curious to know if you've tried it, if you'd like to try it. There's a comment generator, there's a post writer, there's a recommendation creator, there's a messaging helper, it helps you reply to direct messages, profile optimizer and connection customizer. Let me dive into LinkedIn real quick just to show you how easy it is to reply to a direct message using Evie AI. Check this out. I'm going to click on messaging. I'm going to click on the little filter here, and I'm going to click on in-mail. Now, this shows me all the people that have sent me in-mails. You see that? Dear sir, I am a BCA student. I like this Google company one html two css three javascript c i request you google company okay, i'm not really going to reply to that <coughs> but this guy over here gord the president of this integrated solution sent me a message hi joe i imagine online brochures and blah 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 so i'm going to reply to him but i'm going to say i'm not interested okay i'm going to say i am not interested but can you check out my AI called eviai.com? Now that would be rude for me just to say this, right? So instead of me saying I am not interested, but check out my tool, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the AI write a reply to this. And I've gotten clients from me replying to in incoming in-mails. I've gotten clients, most people ignore these, but this guy's the president of a company. And I'm gonna say, hey Gord, thanks for reaching out to me and sharing about your dynamic printer generator. It sounds like a fascinating piece of technology. While I'm currently not in the need of such a service, I'd love to introduce you to a project of mine that may interest you. It's called eviai.com. By the way, if you're liking this, write amazing in the comments right now. I'd be thrilled if you can check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks again for connecting, Gord. Looking forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Joe Applebaum, CEO of Evergreen, Ajax Union, and founder of Evie AI. I'm going to press send. And now I just replied to Gord. I just replied to the president of this company that he reached out to me trying to sell me something that I'm not interested in. Instead of being rude, like a lot of people are, I was gentle and soft, and I acknowledged him in a very beautiful way. This guy has 5,000 followers. He hasn't been posting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and leave a comment on a post that he wrote six months ago. Check this out. I'm going to build a relationship. Somebody comes to your house and tries to offer you something. You can build a relationship. Okay. So this was from four months ago. The AI doesn't know really that it was from four months ago. Happy birthday, Gord. You know, it was four months ago, but wow. Like an incredible celebration in London back then. Send you a message as a response to your in-mail. Hope you see it. Boom. Okay. And now I'm standing out because he only posted one time. He's going to get an email with this. He's going to get an email with my response. He's going to notice that I exist. Gord is going to notice me. Now what I can also do is I can look for his email address. Sometimes Apollo gives me email addresses. I can look for his cell phone number. You see, he has a cell phone number right here, 416-729-1586. And I can just give him a call. Just like that. Let's just see. The number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number and... That didn't work. All right, well, I don't have a cell phone number. Let me see if I can find it on his profile. Sometimes I can find it on his profile. Sometimes I have to go to his company page. So 
Um, I'm gonna, he doesn't have a company page as you can see. So I'm gonna search for him on Google, try to find Gord Sutton, okay, and see if I can find his um, phone number. Most people don't take this next step. So I'm gonna find his phone number over here. You see, he has an office. This is his phone number in Ontario. So I'm gonna give him a call and I'm gonna say, thank you so much for sending me an in-mail. I'd love to learn more about you. I'd love to see if there's a way that we can work together. Although I'm not interested in your stuff, but did you get my in-mail that I sent you? Do you guys see how this could be extremely valuable to your business if you do this correctly? Can you guys see how leveraging LinkedIn the correct way will actually get you conversations, even if people are reaching out to you? Using our AI, Evy AI, will save you time and will help you be able to take your life and your business to the next level. So I'm curious to know if you're going to try it out, what you think about the strategies I just showed you, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you and learning more about you. So drop a comment. Let me know who you help. Let me know how you help them. Let me know what you do for people on LinkedIn. And let me know what you think of my strategies. I'd be curious to know. If you're watching the replay, just write replay. Let me know that you're watching the replay of this. Let me know that you watched it. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you on LinkedIn. So once again, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you want to be able to see all the comments of this, you just go to my recent activity, and then you scroll down, you click on comments. You can set a most relevant. You click on most recent. I do have an AI mastermind happening. It's coming up very, very soon, and I want you guys to know about it. It's happening on Monday. So if you go to uh, evergreen, E-V-Y-R-G-R-E-E-N dot com slash AI circle, evergreen.com slash AI circle, I will load that for you guys right now. Um, it's a circle that we have a mastermind group that we have that's going to be meeting every single month. So the first one is going to be this coming Monday, but it's going to be the third Monday of every month at 2 p.m. And we're going to meet for three hours to discuss really solid AI strategies that will help you be able to do your marketing, your business development, and be part of an inclusive community and give you a tool vault with lots of different AI tools like Evy AI that you can check it out. So if you're interested in learning learning this, just write mastermind in the chat and I'll send you a link to this AI circle link and I'll give you a special deal as well. So if you're interested in, let me know that you're interested in joining. I'll give you a special deal. And today's topic was why people on LinkedIn do not comment. We talked about herd mentality. We talked about the tools that I used. And yeah, I'm just so excited about sharing these tips and tools with you. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate you. And looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Boom.